This is question 25 and it's a question about angles on parallel lines. And what we've got to do is work out the size of angle EAB. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify where that is. So it's the three letter notation for angles. And we know that the angle is where the middle letter is. So we can see the angle there is at letter A. So it's going to be there. And what we can do is we can find some other angles in this triangle. So for example, we could find this one here. Because I've got angles on a straight line, I can work out this angle and we can see that the angles on a straight line add up to 180. So this angle here is going to be 180 minus 148. And if I work that out, that's going to be 32 degrees. So I need to give a reason for each, one, each stage of my working. So what I can say is that angle A, B, E because that's where that angle is, the central letter there, ABE, is going to be equal to 32 degrees. And the reason is angles on a straight line add up to 180. The next angle that I'm going to find is this one here. And I'll have two of the angles in this triangle at ABE. So to find this one, it's actually going to be the same as the one in the bottom left corner here. So it's going to be 63. And the reason is we've got two parallel lines and we have a line that crosses them like that. And the angle here is the same as the angle here. And that's because it's called corresponding angles. So we can say that angle A, E, B, again, the letter in the center there, I've put a little hat on it actually to say it's an angle. The angle in the center there is where I'm talking about. And we can say that angle AEB equals 63 degrees. And we can say that it's the same as angle ADC because it's a corresponding angle. And the general format, when we're given a reason, we can just put the reason in the brackets after, after quoting what the angle is going to be. We can just give our reasoning in the brackets after. So finally, we've got to find angle EAB, which is the one at the top that we were looking for. And we know that because angles in a triangle add up to 180, we can say that angle EAB is going to equal 180 minus the other two angles added together. So minus 32 plus 63. And if we work that out, we can say, well, that's 180 minus, if I add them together, I've got 95. And so if I work that out, that will be 85 degrees. So that's angle EAB. And we can just put a reason in brackets that angles in a triangle add to 180. And that's it. So I hope that's been helpful to you. And if it has, please consider subscribing to our channel and also giving our video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.